Lesson 22 in Theory of Road Vehicle Motion. In the previous lesson, we analyzed the forces on a drive wheel which is spinning at a constant rate. We said that the tangential reaction Rx is equal to the torque that is brought to the wheel minus the rolling resistance. In this lesson, we will analyze what happens on a wheel that has its brakes engaged. We are observing a wheel on a vehicle that has constant speed and we are analyzing the exact moment at which we start to engage the brakes. Braking is just adding a torque to the wheel that opposes the direction of its current rotation. Let's take a closer look. Here we have the diagram and here we have the photo from beam NG. Note this, the MB, the, the, the braking torque, is in the opposite direction from the rotational speed of the wheel, omega. This MB is the braking torque that we are introducing to the wheel in order to stop it rolling. The tangential reaction R x is the horizontal reaction from the surface, tangential reaction of the wheel. We have fx, which is the force of inertia with which the vehicle is pushing the wheel, okay, because this is actually the direction of the motion of this wheel, because omega is counterclockwise. Because we are observing the wheel which was already rolling at a constant speed, at a constant regime, uh, we have, the, of course, the vertical reaction from the surface shifted for the eccentricity E. Now, we write the sum of all moments and first we're going to say, okay, we're, we're going to do the same point, point A. So, we're going to say the sum of all moments from point A in the clockwise direction is positive is equal to zero. Okay, so the sum of all moments from point A is equal to... so. The first moment we write is the braking torque, the braking moment that we introduce to the wheel. And this is clockwise. So we write MB and we have RZ times E also producing clockwise torque. So we have plus RZ, the vertical reaction, times E and we have this Rx horizontal reaction producing a counterclockwise torque which is going to be minus Rx times the dynamic radius of the wheel. Okay, and this all is equal to zero. So if we put Rx on one side, what we get is Rx times Rd is equal to braking torque plus the vertical reaction times E. So, if we divide this entire equation by Rd, what we get is Rx, the tangential reaction of the wheel, is equal to the torque that we brought divided by Rd, plus Rz is of course equal to Gt, so we're going to write Gt times E divided by Rd. This is F, right? This is the coefficient of rolling resistance. So, we are going to write Rx is equal to, this is what, the moment of force, the torque, divided by the distance. So this is going to be the force of braking, okay, so this is the force of braking. So we're going to write this tangential reaction as force of braking plus the force of rolling resistance, the force of rolling resistance F. So this is the tangential reaction of the wheel for the braking wheel. Now notice how in the last lesson we had this uh, moment that we brought to the wheel which was in the opposite direction and then we said okay this is the force that we brought from the transmission from the engine minus the force of rolling resistance. Now we have a different situation, we have the braking force plus the rolling resistance. The rolling resistance of the tire could be observed as a form of braking which is always present on the tire because of the internal friction in the tire and the factors that we discussed in the lesson on rolling resistance. 
This is it for the lesson on the tangential reaction on a braking wheel. Thank you for listening and for staying focused. See you in the next section and good luck on the quiz after this lesson.